Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. What is election fraud? Have you ever wondered how the integrity of elections can be compromised? Election fraud is a serious issue that involves intentional illegal actions aimed at changing or influencing the results of an election. Let's break it down. Election fraud, also known as electoral fraud or vote rigging, includes a range of illegal activities. One common type is voter impersonation, where someone votes in the name of another legitimate voter, often using the names of people who have died, moved away, or lost their right to vote. Another form is fraudulent voter registration. This can involve submitting fictional names on voter registration cards, filling out cards without a person's consent, or forging signatures. For example, in the past, some organizations have been caught creating false registration cards to meet job quotas. Absentee ballot fraud is also a significant concern. This can happen when someone requests absentee ballots and votes without the knowledge of the actual voter, or when ballots are obtained and filled in by someone else. In some cases, household members might request absentee ballots for family members who are out of town and cast votes on their behalf. One, four. Vote buying is another method of election fraud. This involves paying voters to cast their ballots for a particular candidate. It's been documented in various states, including West Virginia, Arkansas, Florida, and Kentucky. Vote buying often targets absentee ballot voters because these ballots typically don't require identification. Five. Election officials can also be involved in fraud. They might manipulate ballots and vote counts, throw away ballots, or use qualified voters' names to cast false ballots. A notable case in North Carolina involved a political operative who collected ballots, forged witness certifications, and returned them in a way that concealed the fact that the voter had not personally mailed them. Electoral fraud can also occur through the destruction of ballots. This can be done by destroying ballots for an opposing candidate or party, which can change the overall result of a close election. In historical cases, such as during the Bourbon Restoration in Spain, organized loss of voting slips was used to maintain political control. The penalties for election fraud vary widely by state and can include fines, imprisonment, loss of voting rights, and disqualification from holding public office. At the federal level, the government prosecutes crimes such as voter intimidation, conspiracy to commit election fraud, and interference with the right to vote. In summary, election fraud is a complex issue that can take many forms, all aimed at illegally influencing election outcomes. It's a serious threat to the integrity of democratic processes and is addressed through various laws and penalties. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Want the inside scoop on your neighborhood? Imagine knowing exactly what your neighbors paid or who actually owns that stunning house down the block. At countyoffice.org, you can create a free account and snoop through over 150 million property records, owner names, mortgage details, sale prices, all those things other sites make you pay for. Don't miss out on the fun. Just Google countyoffice.org property records or head to countyoffice.org directly and create your free account today. Go on, get your snoop on.